Hello, this is Chaos Baloo, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Last time, we... what did we do last time? We checked out the Colosseum and then came to this freaking crypt. And we're still in the freaking crypt. So you know, you do the math. Uh, if I put, were to put a secret room here, I would put it right here. 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 Aha! Third time's the charm. But first, monsters. Boy. You know, Sabin. Blitz! As this is still the most effective way to kill all of these undead, slash, plant, creating undead. Wait, no. It's undead creating plant, not. Anyway. Anyway. The plants turn people into zombies, okay? It's a growth egg, whatever the hell that is. Seriously, what? Wh why did I do that? Uh, if I had guessed, though, it's probably a relic that increases XP. Um, that is exactly what it is. A relic that doubles your XP earned in battles. I'm not going to equip that right now. It'll be really useful later on, but... I don't really have the free slot for it at the moment. Anyway, let's finish up this damn crypt. Why does this bring us here again? Something about... I think it was vaguely alluded to that it would help us fly, but... I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. I'm just really sick of the undead bullshit. If I'm being honest. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let us head this way again to the save point and what is most likely a boss beyond it. I mean, I don't see any way it ain't, so... Let's do it. Man, I still don't have a freaking gauntlet. That actually... That is actually legitimately pissing me off now. I have two Genji gloves and no gauntlets. What the hell, man? What the hell? Mmm... Oh, wait, it's a box. But first, monster. Ah, uh, it's just a Malibru. Well, I say that. I mean, so far, the Malibrus haven't really done anything to me, but I've also been killing them pretty much instantaneously. Like so. Oh, it's not actually dead yet. Well, it's about to be dead, so it's fine. I don't know why I attacked the plant with the dice, to be honest. It was basically just a waste of time. Oh well. Oh, well. They are worth a lot of AP, though, rel relatively speaking, so that's kind of nice. Of course there's a monster in a box. It's a what?! What the hell is that?! I don't like boss music, that much is for certain. Um... Okay, well, I need to be careful to not hit his shell, which means Sabin is basically useless. Mmm. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no lightning. I can't use blitz. What weapon do you have equipped it? Burning. What? What? It has reflect too? Oh wait, no, I used ruin. I'm an idiot. I'm a freaking idiot. Wow. Look at this guy. He's stupid. But I assume this is the same as the other snail, where if I attack its shell, I'm screwed. Okay, so now's a good time to heal myself. Now is not a good time to, to do anything to it. I guess I could use Chakra instead. That would have been free. Magnitude, what? Um... 
Oh, that actually wasn't even so bad. Let's use Chakra. Anyway, though. Because why not, really? Am I, like, making a huge mistake here? I don't think so, but... Oh, hey, it came back out. Okay. Heal and use that on it and use that on it and use that on it okay that healed it do not use ice magic on it That didn't heal it, that's good. And it went into his shell again. Wow. This guy. This guy. This isn't even hard though, that's kind of, it's kind of annoying. It's just taking forever. Mm. Like, what am I gonna say here, honestly? There's nothing for me to freaking do. I guess I can heal again, but other than that, let's just, let's just hopefully kill it. Hmm. Oh, hey, I killed it. Cool. Ha ha ha! Well. Anyway. Hmm. Anyway, we won, and we got Dragon Claws! Which is probably a pretty good weapon! And that took a really long time, like, what the hell. But, whatever. Dragon Claw! It's wholly aligned, increases my strength, and it increases my magic, more importantly. It also has a huge attack boost, but honestly, I don't really care about that. Um, I, as someone who just spans Aura Sphere, I don't really care too much. A man-eater? What, what is... I'm guessing a knife, but it's obviously a weapon. Yep, it's a knife. Is it a good knife? Uh, actually, it is a pretty good knife. But I'm not going to put it on him, because dice. Hmm. I wonder if dice are affected by being on the back row. I don't think they are... But, let's look at his other weapons, because that should help. Cur- uh, wrong. That is unhelpful. I have no idea if he is weaker for being on the back row. Actually. I don't know, I guess I can try putting him on the front row and see if it makes any difference. That would tell me. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and save again after fighting the snail. It wasn't particularly hard, but it was somewhat time-consuming. Okay, let's head up now to what is probably another boss awaiting us. Uh, except, presumably, a more reals boss than the snail. Hmm. Here lies Daryl. Well, okay then. Wait, what? What happened? Seriously? Okay, that is a zombie. Who, who did it hit? Literally everyone. But, you know, it didn't deal that much damage, actually. So, it's not that big a deal. Um, let's heal everyone. And let's get the show on the road. Mmm, 
I'm just gonna use fire. Oh, it uses magic! Wow. How strong is that? Not that strong. I think I can... Hmm. I could use Runic. Or I could just heal. Let's use Runic, though. Oh, wait. That's gonna stop me from using my own magic. Damn it! Why do I do this to myself? Whatever. I'm hurting it pretty quickly, so... It's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's surprisingly not weak against Holy, though. That's a... That's a surprise. I guess I already said that. Hmm... Did I... Stop that? Wow, what spell was that? I mean, I wasn't looking at the screen, so I legitimately don't know. I should use Chakra, actually, to heal Sab er, Setzer. Hmm. Anywho. You know, I wonder... Northern Cross. Well, it's magic, so... I wonder if this will be more effective. Ooh, that was a good roll. Yeah, he's not really dealing any more damage on the front row, so I think it's safe to say that row does not affect Setzer's damage. I should also reuse Runic, probably, before he uses more magic on me. Oh, you know, I totally missed my opportunity to heal just there. What? Oh, that's... Well, that didn't actually heal him much. Also, I'm surprised that healed him at all, to be honest. Because I thought for sure he was undead, and I wasn't paying attention to see how effective this was, so I needed to use it again. Because, you know, that's something that I do with alarming regularity. <laughs> okay, I think that is actually more effective than the Holy Aligned Aura Sphere. That's an even better roll. Haha! -ha. Uh, let's use this though. Because I feel Setzer being healthier is probably in my best interest. Oh, that didn't heal much that time, did it? I'm pretty sure Aura is based on Sabin's HP. Like his current HP. Or, I mean Chakra, same difference. Oh yeah, I killed it. I think? I think I killed it. The battle's still happening, but... It looks like it's dying. Die again. Dying twice, the second time. It's disintegrating in any case. Haha, -ha, I won! And I learned stop! And protect! Because I was learning those, I guess. I suppose that's where we're heading. But first... What the hell do you... have Golem. Okay. Well, you're done with Golem. Mmm... Now then, what's actually useful to have on Raze is useful? Are you about to level up? No. Okay, Raze it is. This probably need not be repeated, but I don't really care too much about this guy's stats. If I did, it's probably best to increase his, uh... Do well, everyone benefits from increasing magic, because late-game magic is really good. Uh, his tools, except for, um... Except for Noise Blaster and Bio Blaster, I think? All of his tools are physical-based, so... He does the most damage with... With his tools, if you increase his physical power. But... Which is why I have the Hero Ring on him, actually. But... Having said that... He... I'm just not really that into him. He's great for the early game. And he's not... Even late game, he's not off... He's not bad or anything. But there's just better choices. More interesting choices. And Malibru's. Always the freaking Malibru's. 
Oh, I... Well, that's not a good roll. Oh, I forgot to put him on the back row. I also may have just screwed up the... No, I didn't. Okay. That is good. It is good when I don't screw it up. Screwing up is the opposite of good. It is bad. And before I forget... There we go. Back row, you are on. A game. Now then, what did we come down here for? Oh, good music, though. Being here brings back all kinds of memories. Wait. Oh, would you look at that? This next test of flight could be dangerous. What are you trying to prove by pushing your ship to the limits? It's pointless. Watch your step. If the worst should happen, take care of the Falcon for me. You can't be serious. When I take the Falcon from you, it'll be because I left you a mile behind in a race. Until then, I'm not letting you out of my sight. Ha! Good luck with that. Oh hey, this is the world of balance. That is to say, the world before Kefka destroyed it. You can tell because everything's still green, and also there's more continent where we left them. For the most part, anyway. There's really nothing like flying. How long are you planning on hanging back there? Aren't you gonna try to pass me? Or are you too entranced by my lovely behind? Wow, that's flirty. Hmm. Although, having said that, I think we all know Edgar is definitely too entranced. <laughs> Incredible. Alright, it's time to get serious. I'm gonna break the records. I'll fly past the clouds and see the stars closer than anyone ever has before! Be back by sunset. I'll be waiting for you on our hill. So, it, this does make me wonder, who built Setzer's airship? Did he build it? Because he didn't rebuild it after the world got destroyed. And I feel he probably could have if that had been the case. And his name isn't Sid either, so... When you... Oh my. I don't know. He may have just not had the resources for it, but that seems unlikely to me. I restored the ship, then I put it down to rest here. I guess he is... Whether he built it or not, he is at least a common enough airship engineer to have restored a crashed one. Yeah, why the hell didn't he repair his old one then? Do, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Indeed it is. The fastest airship in the world! I can't very well be the world's fastest pilot if I can't even fly. I need your help. Falcon! Normally, we would have drowned by now. Oh, 
Wait, what the hell was it doing way over there? <laughs> you just, just don't question it. With this, I think we just might have a chance. Now we'll be able to get up top to Kefka's tower. If we land up there, we should be able to get inside to launch our far assault. Ah, my throat. And we'll be able to look for the rest of our friends. Right, first things first. I'm finally starting to feel like we have some kind of hope. That bird, could it be? Hmm? Could... Could what be? Are, are we really gonna go chasing after a bird? The answer is yes. Yes, we are. Um... Setzer, follow that pigeon! Um, that's what I would like to know. I... Really? I mean, don't get me wrong, you're obviously right in your assumption, otherwise why well, point it out, but... But really? You're just going off of that? <laughs> Seriously, Slez, come on. Hmm, that force stood out to me a little bit. I should investigate later. But for now, we have an airship! Yay! And I'm actually gonna go land right here. So, until next time, when we check out this town... Actually, if you were paying attention to the world map, you can probably figure out what this town is. But in any case, until next time, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day.